Yes, ma'am. A lot of water under the bridge. <laughs> I always say good morning. I feel like I, I have a track record to keep. It's 12 17. I have like less than 10 minutes, but I'm almost there. So today is going to be a very productive day because I have an exam next Thursday. Well, this Thursday, I have two days to prep for it. And I actually did not procrastinate. I'm realizing now how stupid I sound. What I was trying to say is that I have two extra days to study. Like the correlation between I only have two days to study for an exam and I did not procrastinate ridiculous anyways guys i have two brain cells i apologize for that continue okay, so yeah let's have a productive day this before in previous study vlogs but one thing that has tremendously changed the way that I study and my entire studying experience is building an outline prior to studying I feel like it's really self-explanatory but something about building a study tracker just does something to my brain and my cortisol levels I just feel so much less stressed and I actually feel like I'm not gonna miss on a topic because that's one of my biggest fears so if you're like me and you're a high stress functioning individual who literally gets psyched out just looking at the amount of topics and content that's going to be covered on an exam I highly recommend building yourself a study tracker prior to studying I'll link my notion template down below I definitely feel like I should talk more, but I apologize for the kitchen chaos. Like, today, salmon. <laughs> salmon bowls are literally like my comfort food. Like, something about it is so good. And you know what I think it is? The taste of convenience. So easy to make. Yeah, I, I burned the salmon. <laughs> I burned the salmon. Wow,
a lot of people go through every single Ramadan is that feeling of guilt of feeling like you're not doing enough for Ramadan. I've been feeling like that a lot lately, especially with the semester ending so fast and work being piled up. I feel like I have to choose between going to Tawih and doing an assignment or studying for an exam. And I feel like a lot of people do feel that way, especially when you have other time commitments. So I'm here to tell you that you're genuinely doing the best that you possibly can. And that feeling of guilt in itself is an extension of your Iman. So try not to beat yourself up too much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Ramadan and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.